Hello everyone and welcome back to the second episode of Arduino Tutorials. So in this video I am going to show you how you can download and install Arduino software uh, in your laptop and set it up for uh, different boards like uh, ESP32 and uh, NordMCU ESP8266 boards. First of all you have to go to Google and uh, down, uh, type download Arduino or just simply type Arduino IDE Arduino IDE here open the first link because it's the authentic one uh, Arduino.cc click on it this will take you to the Arduino page so here you can see it's written uh, Arduino 2.2.1 this this one is basically the latest software uh, that Arduino have released but uh, I suggest you download the older version Arduino 1.8.19 because this one is uh, simpler and this one is a little bit uh, you can say difficult to understand its UI is uh, different as compared to the older version so after down uh, after clicking on this link you can see four download options for windows 7 and newer windows zip file if you click on zip file it will uh, download the whole software if you click on the first option then it will only download the setup set of file i have already downloaded the setup file as you can see 1.8.19 now open it and click install click on yes it's already installed So now our program is installed. Now what we have to do is to set it up for other boards, other boards uh, like uh, ESP8266 and ESP32. So you have to go to google.com and type uh, ESP8266 for Arduino IDE now click on the this one this link is easier as compared to the others because it's a complete guide how to install ESP8266 board on your Arduino so what you have to do is go to your file click on preferences and additional ports manager click on here as you can see i have already installed three different type of ports onto my software after opening the preferences you have to copy this link and paste into the additional board manager right here after pasting here click ok ok and now go to the tools boards and board manager this will take you to the board manager and now you have to write ESP8266 in search bar I've already installed so it's going to show you that this ports it's installed this one ESP8266 I've installed this one and its version is 3.1.2 now close this one and go to your browser again and now search for ESP32 for Arduino 
now repeat the same process go to instructables and open your preferences copy this page copy this link this one now you see there is a comma and a second link one and this one is second link this is because uh, you have already if you have already installed ESPA266 and you just paste this link on your boards manager URL then your ESP8266 boards will be removed the correct way to install both boards and see them both in your software is to add a comma between first and second link just like this or you can simply open the URL manager and at the end set the cursor at the end and click enter now you can paste your new uh, URL here and click ok again click ok now go to tools board and board manager now type here ESPA266 uh, sorry ESP32 ESPA266 is already installed now we will install ESP32 ESP32 so now you see you have to download the expressive systems not the Arduino ESP32 boards this one is better and it's got every board there is based on ESP32 so after installing close the window and close the Arduino software close it and now reopen Arduino it will show you the install boards so now it's open maximize it go to tools and go to boards now you see I have because I have already downloaded these boards so we can see in the beginning of video you can also see these boards are here so now let's select uh, ESPA266 and uh, select the node MCU this will convert uh, this environment for Nord MCU specifically these if you if I select the Arduino board Arduino Uno or Nano and then try to uh, compile a code for Nord MCU then it will uh, give some errors uh, let's select Arduino Uno and now go to file examples and go to multi serial multiple serial test now let's try to compile it for ESP8266 Nord MCU because there are some libraries that support uh, Arduino and some of the libraries support only ESP32 and some other only support ESP8266 so you have to be careful while compiling your sketch that you have selected the right board and then compile it will not give any errors maybe this will uh, compile without error because it's uh, supposed to be supported by ESP8266 as well as Arduino so it's I think it's going to compile successfully uh, let's open another example for ESP8266 code files examples 
not MCU. So ESPA266. This this is written here examples for Nord MCU. Okay, so now we select uh, let's go to link. The built-in uh, LED for ESP is on another pin and for Arduino is it's on pin 13. So let's go to the Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi client and now if we try to compile it while selecting the Arduino board this one will give error definitely because ESP32 and ESP8266 both have Wi-Fi and Arduino does not have any Wi-Fi uh, so you see uh, as soon as I selected Arduino Uno board these turned black before that these were uh, orange color so let's just select node mcu again and you will see that these will change their color see this is because uh, when we switch to esp 266 or esp32 the whole environment uh, switches to that board so now if you compile this code it will compile successfully because we have selected the right board and the right code now if we have, if we have uh, multiple analog sensors and we say we select uh, a analog pins uh, a0 a2 and a3 and, and select the board as Nord MCU, this will definitely give error because Nord MCU only have one analog pin which is A0. So you see it says done compiling. So we will cover our topics into next video. Uh, in next video I will show you how to set up your hardware and uh, also show you different type of sensors which you can use with Arduino and ESP32 as well as ESP8266. So until next time.